Good morning. Yay! Hi everyone. Hi Mama Manta. I'm just setting up my music. I'm so happy you're all here. Jesse, what the Thank you everybody for the daily support. It means so much to me. It's really making this so much fun for me. What internet does this we're connected to? No, we don't have internet here. Oh, Okay, those of you that are here already, can we just lie down on our backs in Shavasana and do some equal breath? So some Samavritti breathing, inhale for four, exhale for four, just until everybody gets here so we can all get into it together. And I think it's really important before you start your class to settle yourself. So just take the time to give yourself the chance to settle. We got the music going. So those of you that know me in my book, it got rained on. For the first time in my life, I wrote out all my sequences in one book really neatly and then it got rained on. <laughs> Morning, Alex. Nicholas Bain just decided to. Hi, peoples. <laughs> have fun, have a good class. I've got your computer if you want to take it. I will need it. Yeah, the, I think the Bluetooth will still work. Okay, so I'm so happy to have you all here. Today we're going to be doing a class with a lot of rocking and rolling on your back into arm balances and standing up positions. A lot of you have already done this class with me on our YTTs. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know that Yoga Co is offering 
a chance to go into the running to win a scholarship to one of our 200 hour YTTs um, whenever the world goes back to normal. Um, yeah, so if you're taking part in this morning's class, you have to take 20 out of 30 classes through the month of April and you have to screenshot and upload a thing to your story and tag Yoga Co. We'll just wait a few more minutes. I'm so happy to see all these familiar faces. If you've just joined, just lie on your back in Shavasana. Um, and take some breaths. I'm on the right Instagram, right? I'm on the Yoga Co Instagram. Someone want to give me a thumbs up? Daisy, I knew you were going to be the first one to give you the thumbs up. Hi Jess, hi Cece, hi Molly, Casey, my grand Molly is here. <laughs> we're doing that rocking and rolling class that you guys did, I think Molly, on the last day of your training. No, the last day in Ubud. So those of you at home, if you have blocks, please grab blocks. Um, if you've got a stack of books, maybe grab a stack of books. Or if you've got like a couch close by, that would be cool to be able to put your hands on for a little bit of support. We're going to be doing a lot of balancing in this class. So um, with balancing, um, one of my favorite teachers, Leslie Kamenoff, has this joke where he talks about a guy being in class, being in side angle, and in that moment of being in side angle, he was checking out a chick next to him, and in that moment, he hurt his back, because in that moment, he wasn't practicing yoga, because he wasn't present within his own body. So when we practice our physical practice, we need to really bring in that idea of moving meditation. So always being present within every moment and you be present in every moment via being conscious of your breath. So we start with the breath and I really want you to take the breath with you throughout the class. Ooh, jayi breath, of course, if you've got that, otherwise um, just conscious breathing. Um, yeah. A little bit about Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath is the way you create it is you inhale slowly and then you open your mouth and you exhale like you're fogging a mirror in front of you. And then you inhale like you're trying to suck that condensation back off the mirror like this. And so the way you create it with your mouth closed is you keep that feeling. You create it a few times with your mouth open and then you close your mouth and create the same feeling in the back of the throat. The inhale is harder to get than the exhalation, but once you've got the inhalation, it really gives you the ability to lengthen the inhale and kind of take that stress out of a long inhale. Sometimes when we say, take a big inhale, people are like, I can't, it's not that expansive and your Ujjayi breath will help you do that. It's also a really good way to make sure that your mind is focused throughout the whole class to always come back to the sound and that control of the breath. All of your transitions start with the start of the inhale or exhale and end with the breath. I think we're good to go and Michael will try and make you as flexible as I can. <laughs> so today's class is going to go for most likely an hour and a half because I'm really bad at teaching in our class and yeah. Hopefully I've had enough cacao to get me through this. I would love for everybody to start lying down on your back. 
in a Shavasana position. I'm going to be seated just so I can talk to you. And as we lie down on our back, we need to stop before we begin. So just tap into yourself, your feelings in your body this morning. Do you feel heavy? Do you feel open, expansive, contracted? Does the mind feel busy? And if it does, the tool to removing the thoughts is to get into the breath. And as you get into the breath, can you notice if it's easy for you to breathe this morning or if it's difficult? And it's okay if it's difficult. Sometimes it takes a little bit of movement and heat to open up the ability to breathe deeply. But for those of you that are finding it easy, take an ujjayi inhale for the count of four or five or six, however high you can go. And then take a long exhale to match the number of your inhalations. stuck in our homes and what is that bringing up for you? Can you see this as an opportunity, opportunity to go deeper into yourself? A time to study and reflect on the way we've been moving through the world. How can you free yourself in your own mind via the breath? Deep inhale, long exhale. If you feel like at any point you need to open the mouth and let out a big exhalation, please do. And how can we come into this situation or is practice with the beginner's mind. A beginner's mind to move in a way that maybe we haven't moved before. Mm -hmm. To stay present within that new movement via the breath. And to be excited about creating new pathways in the brain by taking new unfamiliar movements. We'll stay here for a minute or more, focusing on the breath. And in this time of being isolated, away from the people that we love, it really has given us the opportunity to connect with the people that we love across the world. I don't know about you guys, but I'm calling my friends way more than I used to. And it feels really beautiful.
starting to draw your knees into your chest, giving yourself a squeeze. So today we're going to start with the physical and with a bit of pranayama and a meditation. So if you're interested in that stuff, stay around to the end. We'll do a bit of a strong pranayama practice. Because oxygen makes us live better. According to Jordan's notes on the whiteboards over there. <coughs> so drawing the knees into the chest, we're just going to come into some core work. So give yourself a squeeze, maybe rock from side to side. If you need to take a twist to wake your spine up first thing in the morning, please do. Maybe you'll get a nice little pop in the lower back. And then from there, starting to take your knees up to that table or 90-90 position. Having your knees stacked directly above your hips and your heels in line with your knees. Be conscious of your belly, take an inhale. Everybody open the mouth, exhale. And as you do that, think Uddiyana Bandha as you suck the belly button back towards the spine. Now take your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, keep the elbows wide as you slowly lift the upper body up. We'll take an inhale here. Don't change the bend of the knee, but just tap your right toe towards the ground. Inhale, lift it back up to meet the left. Exhale, left toe tapped. Keep drawing the belly button back. We're gonna go for 10 right toe taps. Keep that 90 degree angle at the knee for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four, one. Bring both of the knees in and extend the legs up to the sky. Keep the upper body lifted. Internally rotate the thighs and think barbie toes with your feet, flexing the toes back to the face but pointing through the ankles. And then as you exhale, draw the belly button back Squeeze the inner thighs together, lower the left leg down to the floor. Now suck your femur heads up into your pelvis. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, right leg goes down. We'll continue this slowly, like you're working against a resistance for 10, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both of the knees draw into the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze. And then let's open the belly by taking Setu Bandhasana. Place your feet to the floor, hip width distance apart. We'll take three rolls here. As you tuck your tailbone, lift your hips, point your tailbone towards the knee. And then exhale, articulate down the spine, each section of the spine rolling to the ground. Two more times with your Ujjayi breath. Inhale. And exhale. One last time, inhale. And exhale. Draw both of your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and start to rock back and forward on the spine. Bringing yourself up onto your sit bones. So sitting up, placing the feet on the floor, take your hands behind your knees and just rock back behind your sit bones and come up onto the tips of the toes. Now take your right leg up, left leg up, hands reach forward. Fine thing about teaching lives is you have to do everything instead of just telling other people to do it. So here, broaden across your collarbones, lengthen through the crown of the head, take an inhale. We're gonna lower down Ardha Navasana. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower down. We're gonna continue to do this for five, for four, for three, for two, 
for one, hold it down, Ardhana Vasana for five, four, scoop the belly button in, three, two, start to rock back and forward to find Uttanasana, your forward fold. Have a big bend in the knees, interlace your hands into your elbows and let your upper body absolutely hang as you be strung through your legs. Think about grounding through the feet and being empty in the upper body. So at the bottom of every exhale here, draw your belly button in and up. Hold the breath out for a moment. Think Uddiyana Bandha. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take a big inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Let's sit into a squat. Keep your feet quite parallel. Have them wider than hip width distance apart. Butt to the heels. Now hook your upper arms over your knees. Push down through your knees as you lift up through the center of the chest. So your upper arms are creating that bind to create some lift in the chest. Take a big breath in here. Open the mouth, exhale. We'll take one round of Kabbalabhati breath. Inhale. One more time, exhale. Inhale. To begin. Hold the inhale, place the hands on the knees, open the mouth, exhale. Big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale. To come into Uddiyana Bandha, soften the belly and then draw the belly button back to the spine. Don't take a breath in, just keep the exhale pushing out. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two. Take an inhale. Come back down into your squat, exhale. Upper arms hook the upper knees, take a big breath in. Second round, Kabbalabhati. Those of you that need to watch. button in and up. Don't inhale. Big breath in. Uttanasana, exhale, fold. Take the hands to the ground. Now walk yourself back into your first downward facing dog. Feet are hip width distance apart, hands shoulder width distance apart, spread the fingers nice and wide. Push the ground away from you with your hands to create a lift up through your sit bones. Now with your sit bones, don't think about flaring them. Draw the sit bones together behind you so you feel this scooping in and up of your belly button. Strong legs, you can take a little bend in the knees if you've got tight hamstrings. Let's close our eyes in our downward facing dog and take five breaths there. Ujjayi, inhale. Ujjayi, exhale. Give yourself the chance to be still in a position and get into your breath because it feels really beautiful. Dropping down to your knees, keep your toes tucked. Let's take an inhale like a normal cat cow. Lift the sit bones, open the chest. Now as you exhale, think of a cobra hood as you tuck your chin, but take your sit bones back to your heels at the same time, keeping the toes tucked. Now inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, gaze to the sky, bring it forward. Exhale, cobra hood, round your spine, belly button, 
to the spine, butt to the heels. Inhale forward. Exhale, cobra hood. Take it back, move slowly and think about the articulation through your vertebra. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take three more, actually just two more. Cobra hood, exhale. You can suck the belly button back into an Uddiyana Bandala. Inhale. Let's open the mouth together on the last one. Exhale, ha, as you breathe it out. And then let's start to make this a bit sensual. Bring it over to the side, forward to the other side and back. Start to arch and curl the spine. Close your eyes and really move with your intuition. Inhale. Let's all open the mouth as you exhale. Start to move in unfamiliar ways. So notice what your pattern is with your spine. How do you like to move? Do you arch a lot? Do you lift the sit bones a lot? Let's move it in the opposite direction. Try to get a little weird with your spine. How can you move in unfamiliar ways? We're warming up the joints here, knees, hips, shoulders, wrists. Good, coming forward to all fours. 10 wrist push-ups, shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, you're gonna lift the palms off the ground. I don't know if you can see that but keep your fingers off, off on the floor. And then you exhale, slowly lower down like there's resistance. We'll do 10, lift the palms, slowly lower down. Nine, pick up the pace, eight, seven, six, Facing dog, tuck the toes, lift it up and back. Let's inhale, rise to the tips of the toes first. Draw your sit bones together underneath you as you think Michael Jackson in your hips and roll forward into your plank pose. As you exhale, bend your knees, stick your butt up. Let's take it back, down dog. So Michael Jackson, roll forward, rise to the balls of the feet, tuck the toes, cobra hood your upper back as you roll forward. Then Beyonce, bend the knees, stick the butt up, take it back. Inhale, roll it forward. Beyonce, take it back. Inhale, roll it forward. This time, shoulders past the wrist. Now act like you're pulling the ground towards you as you lower down to the belly for four, three, two, one. Untuck the toes. Tops of the feet push into the floor, pubic bone pushes into the ground. Hands come wider than the mat, rolling cobras, inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Roll the shoulder heads back, inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. One last time, inhale. And exhale, hands next to the rib cage, tuck your toes, hug your upper arms in, belly button to the spine, pubic bone to the floor. Inhale, high plank without rolling through the vertebra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Open the mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Let's walk ourselves forward to Uttanasana, our forward fold. When we get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Big toes together, heels apart. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit your bum back as you reach your hands high. In this position, roll the pinky side of the arm forward. Are we all good? Can you hear me? Roll the pinky side of the arm forward. Draw the floating ribs back towards the spine. And think about your sit bones. Drawing together underneath you. Big breath in. Let's drop our bottom to our heels. Exhale. Reach the hands forward. Push through your feet. Come back up. Chair pose. Exhale. Lower down. Thanks, Molly. Inhale. Lift it up. Exhale. Down. Butt to the heels. For five. Continue with this. 
fifth four, fifth three, for two, say hello to your thighs, for one. Now we're gonna rock back to find chair pose, but just lift your butt like five centimeters off the ground and then rock back again. Butt lifts 10 centimeters off the ground. Rock back. Each time just come a little bit more. And a little bit more. One more time. Chair pose. Forward fold. Big breath in. Exhale fold. Take your hands to the ground. Step back plank pose one foot. And then the other. Let's inhale, rock forward. Pull the ground towards you, Chaturanga for three, for two, for one. Your back bend of choice, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Rising to the tips of your toes. Tippy toe yourself forward to the front of the mat. When you get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale, fold. Feet together, Utkatasana, chair pose. Good. Take a breath in, butt to the heels. Rock back, Malasana. Sit into your squat. Now this time, have your feet turned out. You're gonna reach your arms forward, reach your chest through your knees. Then take your arms and wrap them around your shins. Back of the hands on the floor. Tuck your chin. Round your upper back and just hang out here. Breathe. Bakasana Crow Pose. Hands to the ground in front of you, shoulder width distance apart. Lift your bum up. Dig your knees into the backs of your armpits. Now look forward, transfer the weight into the hands. Keep pulling the center of the chest forward as you draw your heels towards your butt, like you're holding something between your heels and your bottom. For four, for three, for two. Now place your feet to the ground, rock back. Utkatasana Chepos, stand up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale, you can step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Hang out there. Thanks, Peter. It's from Dice. Okay. So, from down dog. Rise to the tips of the toes. Handstand press through your hands as you tippy toe yourself to Uttanasana. When you get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, hands reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're kind of going to, we're kind of going to keep going with what we were doing just then and we're going to add on to it and it's going to become a long ladder flow. So the next thing that we're going to add, just watch me for a moment, is we'll do chair, butt to the ground, to rock, to find Vakasana Crow Pose. Now if Crow Pose is not in your practice, you can sit in Malasana instead. If it's new to your practice, just knees to the back of the arms. Look forward and maybe just lift one foot off the ground. You really need to push the floor away from you, like someone's lifting your upper back towards the sky. And then after our crow pose, we'll rock again to stand into standing staff pose on one leg. Now, if you've got bad knees, please don't do that transition. What I would love for you to do instead is crow pose, to rock, to find yourself in a little squat, to then stand up and meet us in standing staff pose. You guys ready? Sweaty, like me? Okay. Standing at the top of your mat, big toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Draw the sit bones together, belly button scoops in, hands reach to the sky. 
Now take your bottom to your heels for three, two. You're going to rock back. Bakasana crow pose, knees to the armpits. Look forward, transfer the weight into the hands. Hold for three, for two. Rock back, stand into your left leg to bring your right knee into your chest. Standing staff pose. From here, get your balance. Remember, Leslie Kamenov, stay present in the moment. Draw the knee into the chest even more. Drop that right hip bone, hands to heart center. Now, like you're pushing against a resistance, kick your right foot to the back of the room. Warrior three. This is where you can use blocks if you need to. Inner right thigh rotates up to the sky. Outer right hip rolls down. Belly button draws in. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Standing staff pose, right knee into the chest. Hands to the sky. Move like a ninja. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, butt to the heels. Three, two, rock back, Bakasana. Hands to the ground, knees to the armpits. Lift the heels up towards the butt for three, two, feet to the ground, rock back. This time, right foot to the floor. Left knee into the chest, standing staff pose. Get your balance. Whew. This is a hard class. Okay, belly button in, knee to the chest. Hands to heart center. Slowly like you're pushing against a resistance. Kick your left leg to the back of the room. Warrior three. Squeeze that left butt cheek. Scoop the belly button in and up. Hold. Inner left thigh rotates up to the sky for three. For two. Standing star pose. So we're adding on each time we do this. Hands to the sky, inhale. Utkatasana, exhale. Let's take a vinyasa, inhale. Hands to the floor, exhale. Inhale, halfway to lift. You can step or jump. If you're jumping, make sure you're landing in your chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Deep breath out. Those of you with handstand jumping practices, you can jump forward. Otherwise, handstand press walk with me. Flat feet or rise to the tips of the toes as you tippy toe yourself forward into your hands. When you get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. If you've got blocks, place them in front of the mat like so. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Good. Butt to the heels for three, for two. Rock back, Bakasana. So rock, catch yourself, hands to the floor, knees to the armpits, heels to the butt for three, for two, for one. Rock back again. Left foot to the floor, right knee into the chest, standing staff pose. <laughs> Good. From here, hands to heart center. Take your right foot to the back of the room, warrior three like we did before. Really work with that neutral extended leg, lengthening through the crown of the head as you push back through that right heel. Jiva squat, your right knee comes behind your left knee. See if you can hover that right chin off the floor before your sole, sorry, the ball of your right foot finds the ground. So my left knee is stacked over my right knee or crossed over my right knee. My right knee's underneath, I'm in a little cross-legged squat. Hands come up to the sky. Take a breath in. Just find this position, breath out. Come back to warrior three. Extend your right leg back. Big breath in. Standing staff pose, right knee into the chest, stand up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Big breath in. Bottom to the heels, three, two. Rock back, Bakasana. Crow pose for three, for two, rock back, stand into the right leg, left knee into the chest, <laughs> standing staff pose, hands to heart center, kick the left leg to the back of the room <laughs> for three, for two, jiva squat, cross your left knee behind your right, 
Try to hover your left shin on off the floor for a moment and then tuck your left toes, hands reach to the sky. You're transferring the weight back to that left heel. Breath in here. Reform into Vira 3, exhale. Take it back. Standing up, left knee into the chest, standing star pose. Exhale, return that left foot to the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway to lift. Skip the vinyasa if you want. Jump, step, back, down dog, or chaturanga. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Rise to the tippy toes. You can float yourself forward or walk forward. When you get there, halfway to lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale, hands reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Third round. I think, Utkatasana chair pose. Sit the bum back, reach the hands high. Butt to the heels, three. Stay focused, two. Rock back, Bakasana. Draw your heels to your butt like you're holding something between them. Feet to the ground, rock back. Stand onto your left leg, right knee into the chest. Standing staff pose. Good. From here, Vera 3, take it back. Inhale. Cross your right knee behind your left knee. Try to hover the shin off the ground for three. Reach the hands forward for two. Tuck the toe, jiva squat, lift it back. Now our next position is half moon. Take your right hand to your right hip. Your left hand will come down to your block on the left hand side if you have it or the ground. And you'll expand your body out to the side of the room as you kick your right leg back, lengthen through the crown of the head. That right foot's on a 45 degree angle down to allow that hip to also be on an angle down. And then open the right side of the body up. Right hand reaches to the sky. Hold and breathe for three, two. Slowly bend your standing leg. Now reach back with your right foot as you land in your warrior two. Woo. Good. In your warrior two, scoop that left sit bone under the body. Push through the outer blade of your back foot and then draw the feet together underneath you. Lengthen up through your spine, relax through your shoulders. Gaze is past your middle left finger. Let's hold it there and breathe. For three. For two, for one, windmill your hands to the ground. Now place your right hand on the ground, left hand onto your left hip, a bashi stasana side plank. Roll to the outer blade of your right foot, stack your left foot on top of your right, take your left hand up to the sky. Inhale here, let's lower the hips, hover them off the ground as you take your left hand to the back of the room. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, lift it up. Left knee to your left armpit. Step the foot forward. Low lunge. Hands to the ground. Little bend in the right knee as you inhale, lift up. Crescent lunge. When you hold it here, what you don't want to do is really arch in your lumbar spine. You want to drop the tailbone down to the ground. Scoop the belly button in and up. Hold it there. And breathe for three two take your hands to the floor one now flex your left toes off the ground kick your left foot up off the floor chaturanga or downward facing dog move with your breath and we'll all meet in down dog From there, inhale, rise to the toes, handstand press or tippy toe. If your handstand press walking, try to tap your toes to your wrists at the end. When you get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Utkatasana, inhale. Butt to the ground, three, two, rock back. 
crow pose for three, lift up through Mula Bandha for two, rock back, right foot into the floor, left knee into the chest, stand up, good, warrior three, take it back, I like it how I say good when I can't even see you. Lengthen through the center of the chest, Jiva squat. Left knee behind the right, hover that chin off the floor for three, two, tuck the toe, lift the hands to the sky, Jiva squat. Adha Chandrasana, half moon, left hand to the hip, right hand down to the floor or the block. You wanna have it about a foot's distance in front of the right foot and off to the side. As you keep that left foot to the back of the room, left side of the body rolls open, Left hand goes up to the sky. So in this position, it's like you're being pulled in every different direction. Really try and find that expansiveness. For five, four, three, two, bend your right knee, foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. So check that you have heel to arch alignment here. That right thigh is moving in external rotation. That left thigh is moving in internal rotation. Belly button draws back, hands out. Gaze past the middle right finger. Control your breath. Ujjayi, inhale and exhale. Take an inhale. Vashisthasana, exhale. Left hand to the floor. Right hand to the hip. Roll to the outer blade of your left foot as you stack the right foot on top of it. Right hand to the sky, inhale. Drop the hips, exhale, reach the right hand back. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it back, back, down. I think I had too many cordyceps. Inhale, reach it up. Right knee to the armpit, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, lift up, crescent lunge. Belly button in, draw the tailbone down. Big breath in. Hold it here as you exhale, spin the out of the pinky sides of the arms forward. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Don't swipe the foot, lift it up, step it back, chaturanga or down dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Rise to the toes, tippy toe, handstand to the front of the mat. When you get there, inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. We're gonna add on again. Back to the heels, three, two. If Bakasana is getting too much, just take Malasana squat. Rock back, you can take your squat or your arm balance for three, for two, rock back. Left foot to the floor, right knee into the chest, inhale, stand up. Warrior three, take it back, exhale. Inhale here, jiva squat, right knee behind the left, ball the foot to the ground, hands to the sky, inhale. Let's open up, Adha Chandrasana, half moon. Right hand kicks to the sky, right leg kicks to the back of the room. Inhale here, bend your standing leg, Right foot to the back of the mat, warrior two, take an inhale. Exhale to settle. Let's reverse our warrior here, inhale. Exhale, Vashi Stasana, take whatever variation or modification you need. Roll to the outer blade of your right foot. You can leave that left foot there and use it like a kickstand in front of the body. Inhale, left hand to the sky. Let's hold, take whatever variation with the top leg that you want for four, for three, for two, for one, step your left foot to the front of the mat. Get your balance, look forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, push through your foundation. As you exhale, open up, warrior two. Hold it here, take a breath in. Parajva Konasana, side angle. Forearm to the thigh, right hand up towards the sky. If you wanna go deeper, go deeper. Draw belly button to the spine, roll the right side of the body back. Take an inhale here. You're going to start to concave the body, so roll that body forward. Bring your right hand down to the ground. Walk yourself to the back of your mat, Skandasana. So in Skandasana, you're bending into your right knee. Your left toes are flexing up towards the sky. Some of your heels might come off the ground and that's okay. 
this has got to do with your hip, your, uh, not your hip joint, maybe a little bit of your hip joint, but most likely your ankle joint. Now from here, keep it low, stay low as you shoot forward, low lunge, drop your back knee down to the ground, squeeze the mat together, keep your right toe tucked as you inhale, lift up Anjaneyasana. As you exhale, open up through the chest, inhale, reach it up, really squeeze the mat together underneath you here, exhale, open it up, lean into it a little bit, when you come back, squeeze the mat together. Exhale, take your hands to the floor, standing splits. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Now those of you that have got a strong handstand practice, which most of you know, I do not. <laughs> take some handstands here. And if you can hold into a handstand and drop back into your vinyasa, do that. Otherwise, standing splits, holding for five, for four, for three, two. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right foot to the back of the mat. You can come into a three-legged dog and take a three-legged vinyasa or a one-legged vinyasa, whatever it's called. Moving through your chaturanga. Meeting in your downward facing dog. Woo. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Rise to the tips of the toes. You can float forward. When you get there, halfway to lift. Exhale, forward. Bukhitasana, inhale. Sit the butt back. Butt to the heels for three, for two. Rock back. Bakasana, crow pose. Or malasana if you need a break. For three, for two. Rock it back. Right foot to the floor. Left knee into the chest, stand up. Warrior three, take it back. Inhale, jiva squat, exhale, cross the knee behind, hands up to the sky. Adha Chandrasana, half moon. Hold for three, for two. Bend your standing leg, warrior two. Inhale, exhale to ground. Inhale to reverse. Side plank to the other side. Left hand to the floor. <coughs> Roll to the outer blade of the left foot. You can modify, look at me, I'm modifying my side plank. Take it as far as you want to go. For four, for three, two. Right foot steps forward. Lightly, crescent lunge, inhale. Let's open up, warrior two, exhale. Heel to arch alignment, reach forward. Parashwa Konasana, side angle. Modification is to have the forearm on the thighs, that left hand reaches up to the sky. If you want to go deeper, go deeper. Hold, breathe, push through your feet. Draw them together underneath you to create a strong base as you roll the left side of the body open. Now left hand comes down to the ground. Crawl to the left foot. Skandasana, sit down. Good, stay solid through your feet. Keep pushing the ground away from you. Low lunge at the front of the mat. Drop the back knee to the ground. Now squeeze the feet together. Anjaneyasana, lift up. Make this more of a 90-90 in both of the legs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows. It's okay to take the knee past the ankle, get into your flexibility a little bit. Then come back by squeezing the mat together. Exhale, draw it down. Inhale, lift it up. Standing splits, left leg to the sky. Hands and hops are welcome. Breathing here for three, for two. Your transition back to your chaturanga or downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Whew. How are we going? Hi Jess, are we okay? Is everybody else sweating as much as I am? Or is it just because I'm in Queensland? Are you guys happy to go through that like two more times? <laughs> I've gone from 30 to 20 people watching. Ooh, again, two more times. Alex says yes. Michael is dying. Good to know. Liz says yes. Oh my God, I love you all. Thanks for coming all the time. It's so much fun. It's like we're really doing it together. Okay, 
I don't know why I make my classes so hard. <laughs> okay, so you're sweating too, Yoko. Good to hear. I'm sure you did all the handstands. Again, again, again. Okay. Man, I don't know if I can do it again. Let's go twice. Let's really try and move with our breath. We kind of know where we're going. Don't worry if you mess it up. Um, yeah, okay. Whew. Where are you guys? Just come forward to the front of the map if you're not already here. <laughs> okay, Utkatasana chair pose. Sit your bum back, reach your hands high. Bottom to the heels, three, two, rock back, Bakasana. Knees into the armpits, heels to the butt, three, two, rock back, left foot into the floor, right knee into the chest, down up. Good, warrior three, you can keep the hands forward if you want to for a challenge. Right knee down behind the left. Maybe hover the foot. Don't touch the foot. <laughs> you can't do it. For three, for two, sit back. Half moon. If you want half moon, can turn into chapasana, your back bend, by reaching back with the right hand, holding onto the foot. For three, for two. Warrior two is your neck shape. Bend through your standing leg. Right foot to the back of the mat, take an inhale. Take an exhale to settle. Inhale to reverse. Let's take whatever variation of side plank that you want, right hand to the ground. Left foot out of blade of the right foot to the floor, left leg to the sky if you want for three, for two. Crescent lunge, left foot forward. Bend the right knee, lift up, inhale. Open up, warrior two, exhale. Take a lean forward, inhale. Harjbal Konasana, your variation for four, for three, two. Skandasana, fold in on yourself. Stay low, think animalistic. Skandasana. Good. Low lunge at the front of the mat. Drop the back knee down to the ground. Squeeze the mat together underneath you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean into it, open the chest. Inhale, lift it up, squeeze the mat together to lift up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, lift up, this time standing staff pose, right knee into the chest. Right leg reaches forward, exhale. Standing splits, keep that neutral pelvis. Okay, neutral pelvis, it's gonna end. Handstand hops, standing splits, chaturanga. I'm gonna stop the video and start a new one. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Whew, we are back. Okay, so coming if you're in your downward dog still jump forward to the front of the mat and we'll meet for the second side <laughs> but I'll just wait we'll just chill out in Tadasana and we'll just wait for everybody to get back although I think everybody might be back sweating that much good I'm happy that you're sweating Casey because I'm dying okay let's go Utkatasana at the front of the mat inhale Good. As you exhale, bottom to the heels. Three, two, we'll rock back, Bakasana. Knees to the armpits, heels to the butt. Three, for two, rock back, right foot to the floor, left knee into the chest. Stand up. Good. Take it back, warrior three. Make it more advanced by reaching the hands forward. Jeeva squat, bring it down. Maybe hover that left shin off the ground for three, for two, tuck the toe, lift it up. Adha Chandrasana, half moon. Right hand to the block or the ground. Left leg to the back of the room. Left hand up to the sky, make it a back bend if you want to. Shapasana for four, for three, 
to slowly like a ninja warrior two take an inhale settle as you exhale breath in reverse your warrior i forgot what i was doing for a second hands to the floor vashi stasana your variation maybe pistol grip the right foot if you want to take it up to the sky modify as much as you need to for three for two if you're pistol gripping the foot hold it to step it forward everyone step it forward crescent lunge inhale exhale open up warrior two reach it forward side angle parjva konasana modification forearm to the thigh take it deeper hand to the ground maybe left hand reaching forward for three for two scoop it in on yourself skandasana move like an animal stay low move forward anjaneyasana lift it up 90 90 in the knees squeeze them up together exhale open up through the chest inhale lift it up exhale open it up squeeze them up together standing star pose left knee into the chest steady splits i mean sorry kick it forward <laughs> breath in standing splits take it down handstand hops i'm going to give it a go even though i'm probably going to embarrass myself on live <laughs> for three for two Chaturanga or down dog, whatever you want. We'll meet you in our downward facing dog. Should we crank some flying lotus? Good. Inhale, rise to the toes. Tippy toes, walk forward or float forward. Inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale to fold. Let's come all the way up to standing. Inhale, hands to the sky. Hands to heart center. Last round. Utkatasana and chair pose. Butt to the heels. Three, two, rock back, vakasana. Or malasana squat if you've had enough. For three, for two, for one, rock back, left foot to the floor, right knee into the chest. Stand up. Warrior three, exhale, take it back. Breath in. Jiva squat, maybe hover the shin, don't touch the floor. Three, two. Adha Chandrasana, half moon, open up. For three, for two, bend the standing leg. Warrior two, take an inhale. And exhale to settle. Reverse, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, Vashi Stasana. Your variation, if you're pistol gripping the toe, you could potentially take Hanuman, the splits before crescent lunge. For three, for two, you could draw the foot forward, take a little split, we're all meeting crescent lunge. Lifting the hands to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to hold, side angle, exhale. Tita Parjva Konasana. Breath in. Skandasana. This time when you get into Skandasana, we're going to sit our butt to the ground. So, your right foot is on the floor, your butt's on the ground, your left toes are pointing up to the sky. For those of you that are really open, stay here. If you're limited in your flexibility, drop that right knee out and come onto the outer blade of the foot. And then what you'll come into is like a side angle, but on your butt. You'll twist the body towards the right knee, left hand to the inside of the right leg as the right hand comes up and over the head. You're rolling the pinky side of the arm forward. If you're quite open here, left hand holds onto the right ankle and then same thing, you reach up and over and your left right hip will just connect from the ground. So wherever you are, your variation will hold it there and breathe. Five, for four, for three, for two, lift it up. Now reach the hands forward, don't use your hands, come back to Skandasana. 
low lunge. Drop the back knee, squeeze the mat together, lift up, keep your right toes tucked. Exhale, open up. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, open it up. Inhale, lift it up. Standing star pose, right knee into the chest. Draw your hands to your heart center. Now like a ninja, push your hands forward as you reach that right hand forward. I mean, both hands forward. Right leg forward, both hands forward. Now come out to the side. Try to keep it as high as you can to come back into your standing splits. Hands to the ground, right foot to the sky, hold for three, for two, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Whatever variations you want. Downward facing dog. Rise to the tips of the toes, float or tippy toe yourself forward, last side. Inhale, halfway to lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sorry, gotta get sleep on my eye. <laughs> exhale, butt to the heels, three, two, rock back, Bakasana. Last one. For four, squeeze through all the bandha for two. For one, rock back, right foot to the floor, left knee into the chest. Whew. Inhale. Warrior three, <laughs> exhale. Jiva squat, hover that left shin off the floor for three, for two. Adha Chandrasana, half moon, open up. Exhale to hold. Inhale, create length. Exhale, warrior two, slowly. Exhale to hold. Inhale to reverse. Vashistasana. Pistol grip the right toe if you're taking it a bit harder. Modify as much as you need to. For four. What? <laughs> For three. For two. Maybe splits. Maybe low lunge. Let's just for a second. Meeting in crescent lunge. Hands reach to the sky. Open up warrior two. Side angle. Modification if you need. For four. For three. For two. Skandasana. Sit down onto your bum. So same thing as before. Tight hamstrings. Drop that knee out to the side. You can place the right hand to the inside of the leg. You do a twist to the left knee before you come into lateral flexion. Or right hand holds on to the ankle of the left foot. Then you reach it up and holding onto that foot, you can allow yourself to twist open here. For five. For four. Three. Two. Slowly coming up. Don't use your hands. Lift up back to Skandasana. Stay low, low lunge. Drop the back knee, Anjani Asana, squeeze the mat together, inhale. Exhale, open up, let the hips go forward. Inhale, lift it up, squeeze the mat together. Exhale, take it forward. Squeeze the mat together to come up. Standing staff pose, left knee into the chest. Hands to heart centre. Push energy forward with the hands as the foot goes forward. Then take it out to the side, keep it high. Standing splits. Handstand hops. I'll embarrass myself again for three, <laughs> for two, and for one. Chaturanga, Budokan roll if you did my class yesterday. Downward facing dog. Ooh, child's pose. Knees wide, toes together head to the ground. I like to reach my hands back in between my legs in child's pose and just close your eyes and chill out here. Big breath in, long breath out. Let the energy settle. Let the 
breath come back to normal if it's a little bit racy. Good. Take five more breaths there. And then we're going to get into some kind of yin restorative stuff. We did a lot in our shoulders today, so we'll open the front of the chest. We did a lot in our hips, so we'll open in the front of the chest. And then I'll do, I'll give you two options for a pranayama practice to be invigorating or cooling, because some of you might be going to bed. shoulder opener so you'll lie down onto your belly you'll take your right hand out to the side at shoulder height lower is easier higher is harder or bending the elbows very hard as well so with your right hand out place your left hand next to your chest bend the left knee roll onto the right side of the body and you'll start to feel a stretch through the front of the right chest breathing in and out Holding coming back swapping to the other side left hand up right hand next to the rib cage rolling to the left side of the body and just chilling here Slowly coming back. Downward facing dog to take pigeon on the left side. Or all fours if you want to. Take the left leg forward. Keep your right toes tucked and lift the knee off the ground. Have that left shin on a 45 degree angle. Roll the right hip forward, drop the knee, untuck the toe, and then lower down. So we're gonna do this, a twist on the other side, and then we'll do some breath work. Get back into your ujjayi breath if you've lost it. Use it as a form of meditation. Walk the hands back into the body. From here, we're gonna transition a little bit differently. Roll to the outside, or to the left butt cheek. Look back at your right foot, try and pick it off the floor to reach it all the way forward and over the left knee. Good, dead worm. Ada Matsyandrasana. So, if you come into this position and your right sit bone is lifted off the floor, reach that left leg forward to modify, flex your left foot. 
That right foot's really strongly pushing into the ground. Take your hands around your right knee. Now push your knee into your hands and then pull your hands into your knee at the same time and you should feel the right sit bone descending or the right femur descending. Now lift your hands off your knee. Inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, twist to the right. Come into your Ardha Matsyandrasana with your hands. Five breaths. your ankles, you can jump back, chaturanga if you want, or just leading in down. This time right knee comes forward, set it up behind the right wrist, have it on a 45 degree angle, keep your back toe touched, lift the knee off the floor and roll that left hip forward and then settle back down. You can lift the body up first, take a big breath in, little back bend and then fold it down. Breathe. breath, stay with your focus, your discipline in the practice, remembering that it doesn't really matter what you can do on the mat, it matters about what you can do with your mind, that's the practice of yoga, it's the, the one goal, to control the fluctuations of the mind, lift the body up, rock onto that right hip, lift the left leg up, Draw, draw it forward, place it over the right knee. Maybe extend the right leg forward for a modification. Hands around the knee. Push the knee into the hands, hands into the knee, lift up. And then lift the hands up, take a big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, twist to the left without using the hands. Use your core, inhale. Exhale, and then wrap. slowly releasing and just finding yourself in a comfortable seated position cross-legged seated position cool so dead. thank you all so much for this class um it's really special to me to see all my friends on here and all my past students who are my friends as well um so now i like to do my breath practice before my shavasana because i feel like it puts me in this state of bliss even if i've done an invigorating breath practice so what we will do is the breath that i did on my tutorial the other day which is kabbalah bhakti 30 times and then we'll take nadi shodhana but you'll hold the breath in at the top of the inhale for as long as you can. So the first round I'll do it with you and then the second round you'll do it by yourself and really just flow with your breath capacity. And then, um, 
and then we'll just all wait for each other in a cross-legged seated position or if you want to head down to Shavasana you can and yeah does that make sense does that make sense so Kabbalah Bhati we'll do 30 rounds <laughs> and then we'll take an exhale we'll take close off the right nostril inhale through the left Retain the breath in for as long as you can. Close off the left, exhale out of the right. Inhale through the right. Hold it, exhale. Kabbalabhati, second round. Okay, you guys got it. So let's move together for the first one. So big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale. Big breath in. To begin, 30. Close off the right nostril, exhale out of the left, inhale through the left, retain the breath in for as long as you can. Lock off the left when you're ready, exhale out of the right, inhale through the right, Hold the breath in. Close off the right, exhale out of the left. Inhale through both nostrils. Second round of Kabbalah Bhakti. through the left and hold so now I'm going to go into my own practice you'll go into your own practice we'll meet together after the third round just in a seated position with an ujjayi breath so see how long you can hold the breath for you're taking 30 Kabbalah Bhakti breaths two Nadi Shodhana retentions if you're pregnant don't do the Kabbalah Bhakti or the retention just do Nadi Shodhana alternate nostril breathing So want to continue and take more than three rounds you can.
into your ujjayi breath on your last round. And you start to breathe in and out of both of your nostrils. Can you notice the sensation of the breath moving in and out of the nose? What does that simple sensation feel like? Time the mind shifts away from the sensation of the breath, bring it back by intensifying your inhale and your exhale. Using this as time to still the mind. just slowly moving into your Shavasana. So lying down on your back. If you want to continue with your meditation, you can and take Shavasana later. This video will be up so you could join at a later time if you want to do more with your practice. Lying down on your back. <clears throat> Taking your heels wider than your hips. Let the toes flop out. Hands down by your side with the palms facing up. Closing your eyes. If you have something to place over your eyes, that would be the best option. And as you lie here in Shavasana on your back, Take a big breath in through the nose. Squeeze everything nice and tight, your fist, your arm, your legs, and then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. And then we really start to soften the breath. We start to let go of our controlled inhale and exhale. And just allow the breath to naturally flow through the body as you lie in stillness. Begin to notice what parts of your body feel heavy. What parts of your body feel light. Consciously relax the skin across your forehead. Can you consciously release the space between your eyebrows? Let your eyes be heavy. As your eyelids softly close and the breath naturally flows in and out of the nose. Your jawbone become heavy, falling to the ground. 
softening the skin around your mouth. Your lips are soft and your tongue is heavy. Your breath is soft and your body is heavy. body still, but just beginning to notice the sounds around you, sensations across the skin, deep in the breath, move the fingers, the toes. slowly in your own time making your way into a seated position if you want to you can stay on your back if you're in a blissful state together at your heart center. Bowing the head down to the hands is a sign of gratitude towards your practice and I bow my head in a sign of gratitude towards me. Always remembering that a simple smile can make somebody's day. Namaste. Thanks everyone. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll be teaching free classes on my on Phoebe Yoga for the next uh, to the end of this week and then I'm probably going to take a break from social media for a week and then switch on to a sorry to a um, website platform so I'll see you all soon I'll be here on your call again next week though bye I'm a puddle thank you so am I my CC my CCCC Mmm. <sighs>
<laughs> oh, thank you all for your beautiful messages. I'll see you all soon. Molly Momo. Thanks, Alex. Alice. Molly. I'm so happy you were there. Casey. Bianca. Alice. Chelsea, I saw you there and I was so happy. I haven't seen you for so long. And Holly, how are you? I'll probably teach tomorrow or the next day on my account. Make sure if you're going, want to go in, thanks Liz. If you want to go into the Yoga Core Scholarship thing, you got to tag yourself, tag Yoga Core and upload a screenshot to get a discount. Um, thank you. Bye.